Hello, welcome to MailSlurp, the leading platform for email and SMS testing and automation. MailSlurp can be used to create and control email accounts and phone numbers using code, tests, and online dashboards. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the dashboard, how to integrate MailSlurp into your code, and how to learn more about the platform. Okay, so this is what the dashboard looks like. On the left, we've got our latest emails, and on the right are our latest SMS. If you need help at any moment, you can click this green button down on, at the right, and you can speak directly with support. You can also open the documentation from the quick actions. The docs can be found at docs.mailslurp.com, and we have a wide range of examples and guides in different frameworks and uh, different features. You can also search for features such as create inbox PHP and go directly to the documentation for your given programming language. So if we go back to the dashboard, um, on this main screen we see an overview of all our resources. The sidebar on the left lets us navigate to different components of the app. If uh, we click on inboxes, notice that some of the menus expand to show more items. The inbox page is quite typical for MailSlip. It has a table with tabs at the top for navigating to related items. Uh, it also has controls in the table for creating new inboxes, deleting, filtering, and the like. So in this example, uh, let's cover more features of the dashboard before diving into creating an inbox and sending our first email. So on the dashboard, if we scroll down, we can see uh, our usage um, broken up over um, different types of usage and different uh, time periods. We can also uh, change the tab to see our SMTP and IMAP access and API access keys. So using this API access key, you can control uh, all the MailSlurp resources from your code and tests. And to get started, you can select a, a common language here from this dropdown and copy this code into your tests to integrate MailSlurp directly into your system. So now let's uh, create an inbox and send an email to see how that works. So if we go to inboxes in the left and then we click create inbox up here on the right, it should load the uh, create inboxes page. So with inboxes in MailSlurp, we have a couple of options. Um, we can use randomly generated uh, email addresses that end in mailslurp.com, or we can use our own custom domain. So to create a custom domain, you have to register with a domain provider and then go to the domains page and uh, create and register the domain with MailSlurp. Once that's done, you can create custom inboxes. For this example, we're just going to create a, a random inbox. So we can give it a name, test, and let's create it. Once it's created, we can see it has a new email address assigned to it, and uh, no emails have been received. So we can uh, test this by composing an email. We can click up here to compose, and we'll send an email to ourselves. Uh, we'll make the subject test email, and here we can add in the, in the body, we can add some content. Um, so we've got a, uh, what you see is what you get editor, um, or you can use raw input if you prefer. So here we can add HTML. Um, so we'll add some HTML and uh, we can change some of the sending features here. We can send with a queue, with a schedule. We're going to go with immediately. We'll skip any verification. Let's just send the email and see what happens. Okay, so it showed us the sent emails page, so it tracks a, a record of our email sending. And if we go back to the inbox, we can see that the inbox has received the email. Let's open it up to have a look. So this is the email, a typical example. Uh, we can also check the HTML and CSS support for the email because it's so simple. It's supported on most clients by the looks of it. Uh, we can change the filters here. Um, to filter for more platforms, still it's, it's widely supported. We can check the spam rating. We can check HTML validation, seems okay. We can review the headers for the email. And we can also look at the raw SMTP message here. If we scroll down, we can see uh, any attachments that might be related. In this email, there are none. 
We can also uh, reply and forward the email at the top right, or we can delete it. Let's just go ahead and delete it. So to see um, all your emails, we've uh, landed back on the email page. We can use the emails table here. Uh, we can also search for emails. So if I type in this value, I can search for an email. I can also filter for emails and change the page size. And I can view attachments. Phone numbers, on the other hand, um, we can create phone numbers in, in MailServe. Um, you need to have the correct plan to do so. Um, you, can, you can check that on the upgrade page. So here are your plans. Here are the features. Um, so select a plan that uh, matches your requirements and include the phone numbers you need. Then go to the phone numbers, uh, create a phone number, go through that process, and then you'll be able to receive SMS and text messages. When they do arrive, uh, they look a bit like this. So you see a message, see who it's from, and who it was sent to. So let's now go over how to integrate MailSlip into code and tests. Uh, so if we go back to the API access, we can see our API key is provided here. Um, we can also open up the documentation uh, for JavaScript or whatever library we're using, and we can see examples. So here on the JavaScript page, it tells us uh, how to install the client, how to set up our API keys, and it has links to all the main documentation and examples. If we click on examples up here on the right, uh, we can either open GitHub and we can check out uh, projects created for a lot of common frameworks, such as uh, if we're using JavaScript, we might want to look at uh, Playwright or, um, let's have a look here, Playwright. We've got an example here. And we can, we can clone this repository if we like, and there's instructions for all of them about how to run them, how to test them. So that's it for the introduction. If you'd like more help, please check out the document, documentation page or contact us directly if you have any questions. Good luck and um, enjoy using MailSlip.